Hi, I'm Eric Sorensen, author of Sorensen's Guide to Power Boats. We're here on the Grady White Express 330. The generator powers the AC electrical system when the boat is out on the water. It's located below the cockpit hatch and it's operated from the cabin electrical panel. It's inside an enclosure which makes it quieter and protects it from corrosion. It runs off of diesel fuel, has its own 13 gallon fuel tank, which is filled back on the starboard side by the motor well. Before starting with the seacock closed, check the raw water strainer to make sure it's clean. Next, remove the enclosure and check the oil level with the dipstick provided. Now check the cooling water level in the tank that's located under the aft port storage bin. And then open the generator cooling water seacock. Now let's head to the cabin and start the generator. There's a CO detector located at the aft cabin entrance which monitors for potentially dangerous carbon monoxide that's produced by internal combustion engines. The generator control panel is located at the bottom of the main electrical panel in the cabin. An interlock bar prevents shore power in the generator from supplying electrical current to the switch panel at the same time. Turn the AC loads off, turn the shore power switch off, slide the interlock bar up and then switch the generator on. Check the fuel gauge then press the start switch for three to five seconds until you hear the generator start. If it doesn't start after 10 seconds, release it, wait a minute, and try it again. Now you can turn on the individual AC breakers as needed. You reverse this procedure when hooking back up to shore power. Once shore power is hooked up, turn off the generator and close the seacock. See your owner's manual for more information.